you started to learn uh, Hungarian. So uh, can we make this interview in Hungarian language? <laughs> uh, I started to not to learn to study <laughs> Hungarian, but I'm I'm not sure to be able soon to speak. Also because step by step I I can see that uh, I'm going a little bit forward, but when I'm uh, going to listen people speaking in Hungarian. <laughs> this <Yeah>. is <laughs> making me very sad because <laughs> still I don't understand so much. So it's quite difficult. It's a language that you know very well. It's quite difficult. I, I, I started one month ago, more or less, having a couple of hour, four hours weekly of, uh, you know, lesson with a teacher, but uh, Tanarne, but it's not, uh, it's, it's not easy. I will try to do all my best, but I cannot assure to be able but, to But uh, what uh, have you uh, studied uh, so far? No, I decided to, to study Hungarian, first because I said in the past that uh, could be a signal of my respect for, for the country, for the fans, and also uh, for, for, for the federation that gave me the opportunity to be the coach of the Hungarian national team. It's not uh, an obligation, it's not my duty, because I know there is no contract that can say this, but it's something that I would like uh, to do. It's something that is also because I'm, see, I'm here, I'm in Hungary, I started to work in Hungary since 2012. Okay, I stay nine months at home, then I stay almost one year in Slovakia, but you know, in Duna Serda <laughs> are speaking Hungarian. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think that uh, I, I need, I, and, and I have to, to do something in order to improve my knowledge about Hungarian language, but it, uh, it is not, uh, no, it's not easy. And in this moment, I have to, to stop because there are other priorities for sure. So good luck for this job. <laughs> Did you remember some moment when uh, you could recognize uh, what you achieved? My, uh, I, what I remember very well are the moments of the matches, above all the, the moments of the match against Iceland, the, what, that was the, absolutely the most important for everybody of us, and that match gave to us, the, to the players above all, and to my staff, to my staff and to me, the, the benzene to go forward. And uh, then we were also successful in the Nations League. And uh, I think that it was really important for the self-confidence of the players and also for our self-confidence, because, you know, the results are always important under this aspect. In every uh, series, uh, the first match is uh, very, very important, but uh, we are in so special situation because you said uh, Poland is the uh, second strongest in our group, so, and we will play against them in, uh, at home. So, what an uh, what a important match will be that. You said many times, from the moment in which I knew about the, the draw, I said many times that this is, is the first, but it could be one of the key matches. I will not, and I'm not underestimating also the match against Albania, because Albania is very, very difficult opponent. I know very well Eddie Reya, the coach. I know very well many, many of the players that are playing over there. Okay, in the ranking, they are behind us. They are coming from the fourth spot, but is one of the most difficult teams of the fourth spot. So do we need to be very careful with them. But sure, Poland is Poland and don't talk about England. We have to do something special. In the last, in the last two years and a half, we succeeded seven times, I think, on beating opponents that were much, much, much better than us in the, in the FIFA ranking. And we have to try all our best to do the same with, with Poland. We will try, we will try. 
I cannot promise nothing. The only thing that I can promise, just like I did every time, and I said from the first moment, what I promised was always the right attitude. Sometimes, to be honest, some, a couple of times, I didn't see the right attitude. I said publicly, but only twice in 24 matches could be accepted.